And I was like, whoa, what? Why? And there was, a, he had a bunch of sexual allegations. All right, hold on. I said, <laughs> I said I was reading Lawrence Krauss, or I read Lawrence Krauss's book, The Greatest Story Ever Told So Far. I think that's what it's called. And what did you just say to me, dude? Uh, yeah, so I looked him up and he had to resign from ASU because of sexual allegations. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. Dude. When? I don't know the I don't know the specifics of it, so you're gonna have to duck duck go that. Mm-hmm. Well I guess alright, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> alright, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, cool. Check. <sighs> check! Check, check, check. <laughs> <laughs> Started off with a little metal scream. I'm here with Kyle Hart, and we're sitting at Tempe Skate Park. And uh, this is episode 11 of Canode Knows, man. 11. 11, nice. dude. 11 weeks is a fairly long time to be doing, doing one a week now. Yeah. Nice. So I said I'm going to do one a week for 52 weeks. So nice. All year. We'll Typical see. Bobby fashion. I'll run out of some. I'll run out of people pretty soon. <laughs> I already had to like start doubling myself up. last week. Start doubling up with predetermined topics. Yeah. I think I'm going to do Chadwick again, Bentley again. <laughs> get everybody, get you back again. Talk about Lawrence Krauss and sexual allegations. I got to say right away that the first, the, the, the fact that it's not called Canoes pisses me off. <laughs> well, just, let's I, just the get fact that, off that it's called Canode Nose kind of pisses me off sometimes. Okay. I'm like, cool name, do you know? bro. Like, <laughs> no. Do you really know? Um... What's up, dude? So I just drove from Peoria out to Tempe, and I was so pumped just getting in the car. Like, I had that morning kind of mm-hmm. buzz going, just like, let's go. And then sitting in the car for an hour and a half, kind of like, here. Yeah, it's gone. That's up, a long dude? ass time. What do you do for work right now? Um, I work for my wife, actually. <coughs> we Sick. do, yeah. We work from home, it's like corporate, right? corporate social media. That's what your job is, and then she I'm, runs I'm shit? support. She's operations manager. Yeah. Corporate. So she manager. hired me so I can work from home um, and help with the kids. Hell yeah. Speaking of kids, <laughs> two kids. Two kids. And how old is Crimson? Two and Almost two and a half. That's so nuts, dude. Yeah. Onyx flies. is seven months as of today. I don't remember what the date is. Hell yeah. Yeah. What's that like, dude? Very interesting. Very busy. Uh... It's crazy to think back and th- like re- remember how little you do when <laughs> yeah. you don't have kids. You don't do fucking shit all day. Yeah. Like when you have your own time, most of it's wasted. Yeah. Which is insane. And then now that you have kids, it's just you, every you moment. savor every goddamn minute, of any, <laughs> any amount of time of anything. Even like I don't know something stupid. Yeah. Checking your phone is like, like I'm enjoying. You're like, this. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> something else. <laughs> something just not screaming in my face. What's your like day to day like now? How early are you up? Um, well, we have since we have a new baby, uh, Heather hangs out with the baby. Um, so I'm with Crimson, and she's my little sidekick right now. Mm-hmm. So I put her to bed and uh, sleep, and we wake up at like six and start doing stuff, have snacks, snacks at make, six, make jokes. Hell yeah. yeah. We don't watch too much TV because I don't want them to be brainless retards. Yeah. Can you say retards? <laughs> yes. Probably not. Um, Cancel me. <laughs> cancel culture. Cancel. Somebody just got canceled. They got hired for Saturday Night Live. Shane Gillis. Yeah. Yeah. For the Jew. He uh, he also Jink. said neuters. Yeah. Which is how he, he he said Asian people say noodles. Yeah. Neuters. That's man. That's a. I just said it on a podcast too. <laughs> <laughs> Inception. <laughs> You'll be canceled in the future, man. Yeah. I don't know. That shit's crazy. So, um, Heather's super into this health stuff on Instagram. What is it? Yeah. What's her Instagram she's handle? She's getting it. Um, Mother Moonstruck is her, like, professional. She has a personal one that's yeah. private, but that's her professional nutrition. Yeah. She goes hard with it and does a good job. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. So, you um, guys are feeding your kids just super food, man. Yeah. They're awesome. They've never been sick. That's so sick. I mean, they get, you know, little colds or whatever, but they don't have, they've never been, had any problems. Yeah. They're super smart. Way ahead of their age, their age level for reading. Crimson can count to 10 and... Sick. spell words it's crazy hell yeah um but yeah they're little geniuses when do they like when what age do you go into school she's on track i don't uh, know well, i mean we're probably gonna do homeschool nice we'll see oh yeah we're raising little fucking super villains Me. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and ma- making like heavy life decisions every day yeah is really interesting like guide, guiding the path for a new a, a, un, a blank canvas that hasn't fucked up yet yeah. <laughs> but you know they will yeah it's, <laughs> it's really interesting have. yeah oh yeah for sure 
Me and Heather were both super wild. Yeah. Uh, just feral beings. And eventually you grow up and decide what you really want to do with your life. Yeah, I think that makes you better. You've seen yeah. everything. You know what's good see. and what's bad for sure. Yeah, that's sick. Um, yeah, I don't have any, any regrets in anything I've ever done. Even, you know, some scary shit. I got all kinds of crazy stories. Yeah. All right, hit me with one. <laughs> <laughs> Most for of them example. involve Ron Pitcher. Okay. Shout out to Dirt Ron. Yep. Um, I don't know. If we, one of my favorite ones is, I don't know if he wants me to tell any of this, but he'll live. <laughs> um, we, were, we all went to the bar, and we would just get hammered and just end up making bad decisions. But we went to, I think we went next door to get more beer for, at a store while we were at the bar. Mm-hmm. And um, he started flirting with a homeless chick. Oh my <laughs> and he was just gonna he was like i'm going with her and i was like all right shit well i'm not gonna let you go do this by yourself <laughs> um yeah and we ended up staying with the night at their homeless hotel and uh i mean you know getting into all kinds of weird shit uh but you know <laughs> yeah they woke us up at like right when the sun came up like you guys gotta get the fuck out of here and the girl was gone like Everything was different. It was like, oh, my God, let's fucking get out of here, dude. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I won't say specifics, but it, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just that kind of shit. Just, just dropping into something when you don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. and seeing it all the way through. Like, never, yeah. never if retreating. We're fucking doing ever. it, man. No, yeah. yeah. That was, like, how we did everything. Hell, yeah. So, it feels pretty good to calm down after a whole yeah. kind of decade of that. That's, I feel like a lot of people get old and then have that regret of like, oh, I never, you know, did this or why. Yeah, I can't out. say I don't that. I think you'll ever no, have that I, tr- I tried everything I want to try. And you went hard I know, enough. I know what yeah. everything does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fought, fought and loved and lived to tell the tale. Dude, I've never been in a fight, man. I, that's uh, something I think everybody needs to do, just so yeah. you know you can do it. Exactly, yeah. Because that's like, a, that's something I had a lot of mental block with and I know a lot of dudes do. Like, uh, you have that dream where you need to punch someone and your arm just doesn't do it. Yeah, yeah, I've actually had yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure. Huh. But I, did, I, I didn't have it after I punched somebody in the face. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you know you can do it. And you know you know what you're going to do if something goes down. Mm-hmm. I w- so like, even, yeah. I thought about, like, training for it. Yeah. Just, just learning how to basically fight. Because, like, going into it without any experience against somebody who knows how to punch, I don't think I'd even... Um, though I'm yeah, huge, that's I definitely a bad idea. Yeah. To fight. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't, you should never go looking for fights. Yeah. But if you have to, you know, you have to. I've always been pretty good at either, like, diffusing the situation or just momentarily swallowing your pride and just yeah. bouncing, you know? Just fuck off. It's kind of Just like, go. There was this kid at the at Glendale Park the other night that started a fight with these two random, like, boxers training. Like, it just, these kids are, like, all 16, 17, and, like, this one kid, the biker dude started making fun of these two boxers that were like training and they came into the skate park and were like what's up you want to fight and then he ran over to the corner to all of us like come on protect us bro and then (laughs) we we just watched him get into this little scrap and it's just like that's all over nothing it's so ridiculous yeah Yeah, and you know you can't save idiots yeah (laughs) that's true that's just how that is um so i had a list in my head of shit to talk about man but you make any notes I have a, a bunch of notes. We'll, we'll save. Where's your canotes? <laughs> Where's your canotes? Canote. How do you uh, start riding? That's pretty standard. Standard question right there. How old were you? Did you I, race? No, I never raced. I did like some shitty mountain bike race and lost and cried like a bitch for a week. <laughs> I never. I, I was never really competitive until way later in life. But um, I, I feel like I did most things when I was five. Like I started riding when I was five. We got my first bike and everything. Um, shooting, driving. <laughs> you shot a gun at five? Yeah. Hell yeah. I did everything early, yeah. like, in that respect. Like, Dope my dad play. would let me drive his truck. We'd go shooting, hunting, all that. Um, and then first bike. And then just never never really wanted to do anything else. Just always liked riding bikes. Um, Who'd you meet first? Fast. Like, what was your first trick? And, like, who was one of the first dudes that you, like... Well, yeah, first memories. We had... There were some dirt jumps um, on Chase Avenue... In, in Spring Valley in San Diego and we would go there just little shitty kids with like flame flame shorts on like total yes. fucking dorks <laughs> um, but I remember Sean Yarl and, and Sam Townsley would be there just like fucking ripping like riding the bi- the biggest ones you know whatever the, the sweet line was called like uh-huh. Death Reaper yeah. or something and you know doing turndowns and like we'd ha- we had this crappy camera like straight to VHS camera cause I'm that goddamn Sick. old um <laughs> But yeah, they would be doing real shit, and you know we'd be doing one footers on the whatever the smallest bump of turd is mm-hmm. there, and and then you'd go, we'd go back and watch it at home, and they're doing like you know twenty foot jumps, and it was like, damn, that's fucking crazy. 
I liked dirt jumping a lot when I was younger. I, I think I stopped probably around like 14, just because I was always the guy who, or the kid, who would show up and they'd be like, we finished a new one. And it was like, I'll fucking try it. And then I would just clear the landing and just explode and have to go home. And it's like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. And then, yeah, we would just start riding around the streets because that was all we had to do mm-hmm. was just fucking go somewhere. We, could, we couldn't drive or anything. Parents would take us to the skate park. Shout out to Old Mission Valley. So that was where we met everybody, like Gary and yeah. Steve Woodward and Brad Big Fucking Chin Winger, Dave Volker. So it was like, yeah, it was pretty yeah. cool riding with legends all the time. Yeah, San Diego. Ryan right. Fudger, chainless, yeah. first chainless rider of all time. Sick. <laughs> Is that what inspired you to eventually be chainless? Eventually, guy? that's a long story too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that was actually inspired by the night I got sponsored by Sabrosa too. Yeah, I want to talk about that. For so sure. yeah, we can go straight was into that, that. Yeah. So I don't know. Just fast forward, and then you're what twenty or something. So this was 2006 or something. Yeah, 2006. 2006. Yeah. That was when Sabrosa started. Yeah. Because I was in the car with Wong when Ryan called and. And was like, I'm, I'm quitting kink. I'm starting this thing. You're, you're on it. And I was like, holy shit. He's to Wong. Yeah. And then um, later we went. We ended up going actually out here to Fort McDowell. Mm-hmm. Back when they had a dope ass skate park. Yep. Um, and they had a crazy contest. And the contest was sick because it was just like pure best trick all the time. Yep. So it was just like this badass jam. So where everybody, when, whenever you did something badass, you like you got a hundred bucks or fifty bucks or whatever. Oh, I think it was yeah. fifty bucks. I got three of them. Sick. So I was like, fuck yeah. And then when they actually had best trick at the end, I tried to 180 no-hander the big box, the full fucking size box, mm-hmm. which was totally nuts. Yeah. But I 180 did it and I pulled it, so I was like, I can fucking do this. Yeah. And there's a picture somewhere that I can't find on MySpace. Damn. But I think Fudger got it. I don't remember. But I broke my wrist. <clears throat> Shit. Was going 90 miles an hour backwards, put my hand down, fell, snapped my wrist. Didn't know it. We went to get food. Uh, sure was there. He was super stoked. Um, he's like, fucking, I don't know what we're doing with the flow team, but you're on it, man. Like, first one, we'll figure it out. Sick. It's like, fuck yeah, I got sponsored. Got, and then we were driving, however, six hours home. Mm-hmm. And by the, you know, halfway through, my wrist was like the size of a volleyball. God damn. I was like, oh shit, something's yeah. really wrong. Uh, never went in, into the hospital. It fused. I don't, can't bend my wrist anymore. Damn. You see that? Um, that was forever ago. 13 years ago yeah that, that I've been dealing with so it's probably arthritic and fucked up now it hurts when I lift but it's alright um, yeah so that was how I got on the team and then 9 months of sitting on my ass with a broken wrist it was like I want to do something fucking weird like I was alright I was still already pegless and breakless and it was like free coasters were still shit all you could get was a non-kai we were broke ass kids yeah um, Fudger took his chain off I should try that <laughs> huh Took it off. Skate parks, it's fucking awesome because you can just pump you can everywhere. Just pump, you can yeah. you can do the sideways pump thing and get everywhere. But then like street riding <laughs> yeah. with no car, like yeah. okay, so how does this work? Boots scooting San around, Francisco dude. trip. Oh my god, <laughs> scooting around San Francisco, foot calluses. <laughs> 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 fucking stupid. And that was when I was like, this is kind of dumb. And then I <laughs> I remember hearing like. People were like saying, like, "Yo, man, like, sure's sure's probably gonna kick you off the team if you if you just ride like this." <laughs> I was like, ah, "Yeah, I mean, it's kind of stupid, I guess." I remember put a, put a seeing chain back that on. footage of you with the chainless on in like Give D videos. Give D right? videos, yeah. I did like some roof gaps and shit. Yeah, is that which was crazy because I would slip like on roofs or really roofs are really slippery and you have to fucking push. Yeah, it's not like a skateboard; it's heavy as fuck, and I'm yeah. not a little guy. Well, um, back then you were. You were pretty. Yeah, little. I mean, I was I was probably still like 180 yeah. or 190 maybe. Now, shout out to heavyweight champ. Well, yeah, what are you? No one's in my weight class now. <laughs> Two forty. <laughs> hey, yeah. hell yeah! But still hop as high as I could before. So yeah. Until then, I'm gonna keep this fat. You're a goddamn beefcake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, and then I ended up putting pegs back on and, and getting into pegs for a while, and then I had kids and was like, I'm done with that shit. <laughs> so you were brakeless, pegless. I've always I've, I took my brakes off in chainless. 1999, and you've never put them back on. So 20 years this year, I've Damn, been brakeless. That's crazy. How long have you been actually riding then? I mean, like, like real seriously, probably just a few years before that, but I've always been on a bike. So you're 20 plus years of riding now. Yeah, for sure. That's so sick. That's and then, cool. I mean, in high school, like, I've been, I was in a lot of bands. I played drums for 16, 17 years. Hell yeah. Um, so that, it, I didn't ride as much because being in a band is crazy and takes up a lot of time. Yeah. But that was also a dope experience because we would do stuff like play a show. And we played a show in Phoenix, and then the rider, all the rider dudes came. And they just scooped me from the show, and we went to 
the Phoenix Vans contest. Hell yeah. And I think I was like 18. I, then. Those skate parks are before my time. Like, I remember hearing about yeah. Fort McDowell and shit and then the Vans Park and shit, but I never got to I experience them. rode both of them once. <laughs> nice. It was sick. Oh, yeah. uh, the San Diego scene, that's like pretty influential in like, I guess, who you yeah. are as a rider. Yeah, I mean, if you watch the old Volt video, we had a section in both of those. Sick. That we made ourselves, me and Wong. 1904 was the thing for SD and like Dennis is a little dude yep. and Steve they were just like the ultimate contest dudes and we were just I don't know Mike Aiken clones yeah hell yeah um, <clears throat> that you'd say Mike Aiken was a big influence or what? 100% yeah. <laughs> yeah you and Wong how'd you meet Wong um, shout out to Wong best guy ever best guy ever we met at a place called Skate Hell in Lemon Grove it was this old skate park that was run down or no they took the ramps from Skate Heaven and they took it to a place uh, where you could do graffiti, and they called it Skate Hell. Sick. But you could just do whatever because it was just a shithole. Yeah. So there's like dudes tagging, training, I guess. Yeah. Train, trag ta- trag taining. Ta- what? Tag training. <laughs> and um, you could just do whatever and ride whatever. And he was there. I had just gotten a bike again after being like consumed with being in bands. Yeah. And it was a piece of shit. But that was actually the day I learned turndowns too, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, it was like one of the first days back to riding after a pretty long break. <clears throat> um, but he was there with Fudger and Scuba. Um, and they were doing all kinds of... He was like... He he shot photos for the magazine that day. So it was like, damn, this guy's fucking crazy. He's yeah. like younger than me. I think we're almost the same age now. Now that he knows that he's older. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he was like blasting an invert and they were like shooting photos for the magazine. He was like, damn, this guy's crazy. He's and we just kind of been hanging out forever. Hell yeah. Power, powerful dad bong. <clears throat> yeah, I remember, like, I remember sweating Wong so fucking hard, like, just the old Give D videos, his, he was one of the first I saw do nose wheelies and shit, and yeah. big ass 180s. On, like, rails, like, he was the yeah. first to do all kinds of shit. Yeah. And, and just I, any trick that wasn't a barsman out of it, uh-huh. he knows a turn down, it's fucking crazy. Dude. We drove to San Francisco just for that, just, just for, for that the, clip. The, and we lost one of the angles. Crazy, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like, nose, was nose Goody, flat right? to up, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, nose flat to up to turn down. That was like a four day trip for that for that clip, and Worth we still it. and we still lost an angle. <laughs> oh man, yeah, dude, lot, you have a lot of, lot of history, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> uh, you got to earn thirty three years of history. Yeah, so I mean, there's I could talk about that shit all day, but one of the things that I'm stoked on you is this. Uh, I don't know resurgence. I remember. There was a time when we were working together with Sabrosa and it felt like you were kind of not motivated or I don't know what it was, but there was this like down and then just all of a sudden you just like clicked and you were like, I'm going to fucking be the best and I'm going to be the best I could possibly be. <laughs> yeah. Talk yeah, about I that, felt, dude. I feel like, um, I don't know. Like I what guess, was the down part? Uh, I don't know. Just being a drunk ass. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, just, I mean, like think, thinking that partying is more important. Yeah. Or, or equally, even equally as po- and important yeah. as as riding. And I don't know what that came from. I guess maybe being with people who all agree with that. Yeah. Um, it's fun. Watching too many fucking skate videos yeah. and, and thinking you're going to make a million dollars and never ride. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I got stuck in a weird mentality. And then I had, I don't know, I think it was probably getting married that really switched it over. And then uh, we hung out with my cousin in Alaska and he's just like the baddest ass person ever he works on the oil pipeline at the in the north slope of alaska and just just the like manliest of the jobs. manliest thing you could possibly do yeah. negative 80 degrees yeah and working Jesus. on diesel engines like the the dopest mm-hmm. and i was like fuck that's like like that's motivating to me it's just to to be around someone like that yeah so that really kicked me into gear to like like <clears throat> the thought was what if i tried my hardest like Sick. what if, what if like and then do it don't just be like man i guess i'll never fucking know <laughs> yeah, yeah. like what if you did what if you took something that you like and you tried your absolute hardest at it yep. like no matter what and never gave up um that's where i'm at right now yeah, <laughs> i guess yeah. almost five years ago um yeah and then just like like being not motivated by having filmers that wouldn't show up not you specifically okay. but <laughs> <laughs> you're included <laughs> Just not being able to rely on anyone else or not choosing to rely yeah. on anyone else. Yeah, that just, was a big and change. Say, well, okay, and then the other thing is, what if you don't make any fucking excuses? So what if you try your best and you don't make any fucking excuses? So today you're going to go ride, you're going you're gonna to get everything accomplished you want to do, no matter what. Fucking get it done. That's yeah. it. So then that's, that's kind of how I got into weightlifting, too, because that's the perfect mentality for that. Yeah, it is. Shut the fuck up. Go do it. Yeah. Um, and that's, I mean, that's where, like, instead of riding for fun... 
and like trying to enjoy my time, yeah. it became more about accomplishing goals. Yeah. So like I even I'll write them down like for videos that I do every week, which yep. is I guess my thing now. How long have you been doing a video every week? Because it's remarkable. <sighs> Metal Monday started in 2000. 14? It's fucking insane, dude. Five years of a video every So I week. did, and I did, it was on and off for a while, and then I, and then I made another commitment. It was like, I'm going to make a video every week, no matter what. <laughs> yes. And that I'm going to call it Metal Mondays, because it fucking starts with an M, I guess. Yep. Turns out Monday's the worst day to post anything, so it was a waste of time. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did that for 52 weeks. Yeah. I did it for a year. Uh, and then it just it just got taxing to do everything on Mondays, and I would like save clips and stuff. And I was like, "This is stupid. It's just for Instagram. Like, yeah. who cares?" So then it was like, "Well, I'm just gonna have like one crazy session where I make a list of shit I want to do mm-hmm. that ma- that I don't think I can do. Like, that's the biggest thing. Is like write things down that you don't think you can do, and then fucking try to do it. Um, that, that's how you know like there's tangible progression. Yeah. <clears throat> so I start making lists. I have lists all the time now, um, and then figure out a spot to do it in and then go do it in a couple hours since i have kids i gotta get that shit fucking done yeah dude. i ride once a week yep no warming up no fun no fucking <laughs> smiling no friends <laughs> just getting shit done with a tripod no excuses making it look good at the end yep. with music that i fucking love yeah usually current because i'm pretty stoked dude, on your, shit that's coming out lately progression with uh the filming and editing of them is fucking <laughs> amazing that's it's something that's really to fun to figure out too because then you don't really have to be good on the spot yeah and it's, you dude, can and take your all, time later. It's all on your phone. Yeah. Like, you're Which editing using iMovie? I use, yeah, iMovie, and then I have a, a crop and zoom app for yeah. uh, for uh, panning. What's the crop and zoom app called for all fuck the motherfuckers you, fuck out y'all. there? Fuck y'all. Find your own. <laughs> that's what I tell every fucking kid. Just look it up. Look yeah. up crop. There if you, you go. Just crop that's, it, that's all you yeah, need. If you if can't you figure the rest out, I'm not going to help yeah. you anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone that I've met that uses one uses a different one. Yeah. I don't know anyone that uses the same one. So. I've seen it kind of spread from... I, you were the first one I saw doing the post-Zoom on, like, iMovie. So, or yeah, I... Or not I, iMovie, but on iPhone. I mean, I don't want to take any credit for anything, but... I, I remember being one of the first people who yeah. wasn't embarrassed enough just to film myself. Yeah. <laughs> because I remember the first few times that I would go and do it in front of fucking people. Yeah. They look at you like, why are you just jacking yep. off at the skate park? Like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're alone. You yeah. know that. You were ahead um, of the curve. But yeah, it's a weird feeling. It's like taking selfies if you've never done that. Like mm-hmm. you, you are gay now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like everyone thinks you're fucking lame. Yep. Um, but I don't give a fuck because it's what I want to do. Yeah. So, dude, it always makes me laugh thinking about like how you get those pictures of you like flexing and shit like, <laughs> on your bike. I'm like sometimes, sometimes. Down. Shout out to Jarrett or my wife. Yep. <laughs> sometimes someone will take a picture. Hell yeah. But that's usually. I mean. Get no fucking excuses. Yeah. Well, no one was here to take a picture of me, so I guess I don't exist. <laughs> Fuck that. Do whatever you want. There's no yep. fucking rules. And nah. it was, so it's like just, I guess, uh, oh, that's a dumb question. There are no dumb questions. I was going to say, because it was like in, in, uh. Oh, well, yeah, what I was going to say is I think D- Dakota was the first person I ever saw use where I could tell that it was solo zoom. Yeah. Um, but shout out to him because he does it right. Dakota, they all look sick. Dakota from here, right? Oh, no, Roche. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dak, Dak Tech. Um, yeah, he's fucking awesome. Dude, it's fucking insane that you've done it every week for however long that has been. <sighs> I think I skipped a week. I, I Sometimes when I get hurt, I have to skip a week, and it feels really weird because I'm, like, deep into my groove. Yeah. Of, it becomes your reward system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, especially when you work, you know, like, you got to get it in. And that's how you party now. Like, you're working, you're raising <laughs> two kids, and then party on the weekend yeah, and then, by going yeah. to get a session. Go as hard as I can for yeah. two hours and hopefully not break anything. Do you see any friends or anything, or is it just focus right now? Uh, I mean, not really. This is having kids is all consuming. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if, if someone hits me, like every once in a while, Chadwick or or Jarrett is a bitch will hit me up to yeah. go ride, and every once in a while they will show up. Nice. But uh, that's pretty much it. I don't have time for fucking anything. Yeah, that makes me feel bad immediately. <laughs> last, last time we had a plan, I, I had to bail. I, I mean, I, you know, I should be doing everything right now, but here we yeah. are. But, uh, I mean, I, I've been meaning to go to a lot of shows lately, especially since, like, whenever, since I've been using a lot of current bands for stuff and I tag them in it. Like, um, I got added to a guest list for a show in October that I'm actually going to try to go to. Sick. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I got a plus one if you want to come. Hey, yeah. What's the uh, date? I think it's the 16th. I think I have my... I'll have to check. Yeah, we'll see. It's a, it's a Saturday. Okay. Um, whatever. But, like, you know, just making time to go out and do shit. How do you, how do you de- discover uh, new music? 
Ooh, I have a lot of methods. Is it all on your phone? No, I, I use my computer for that. Just there's a bunch of different websites that review new shit and kind of. I mean, don't they don't really leak stuff, but just yeah. like like just metal like what's news, on the yeah, edge, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like like death metal. I don't really like fucking regular metal. So what's the difference between death metal and regular metal? Oh, that's that's a four hour conversation Dang. from the different genres. We got a couple minutes differentiation. <clears throat> um, well, I t- generically death metal would be guttural vocals, lower low tone. <laughs> That kind of vocal, um, typically themed about physical death, okay. bodily harm, gore. Death metal. Death metal. Can you give us an example of a uh, guttural scream and make it say canode nose? Canode <laughs> All right, so we got a skater in the park. I think um, we're going to move this party into uh, the car. Uh, nice and humid. You were explaining death metal, but on the way out here, we were talking about how we met, and I can't remember. Yeah, I, can't I don't either. Maybe I mean it must have been out here. Maybe when we came out here for Blunted, it Maybe? might have been like when I lived in Tempe at that party house. I, I feel like maybe it was like after. Working with oh, Sean yeah. a little bit, party and you guys came house. and like with Billy, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that might be it. Just mutual friends of Billy. This guy's having a party at his house. You can break the fucking house. (laughs) Fuck, I forgot about that. Dude, yeah. I can't remember shit from my 20s, which is, like, good, but I was just telling you, like, diving deep on the uh, the old Instagram and shit, going through memories that we've had. It's fucking nutty. What was that quote from The Office, right? He's like, have you ever lived so intensely that you literally couldn't fit the memories in your brain? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> uh, what's uh, something that you can't remember that you I wish can't you remember. could? I can't remember it. That's I, I can't remember nice, it. Nice, yeah. You know? Cool. Good question, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I'm not good with faces. Or I guess I'm good with faces. I'm not good with names. I yeah. can't ever remember anyone's name. Do you get, uh, like, I guess nobody's really at the skate parks when you're going in the mornings, but do you feel like a celebrity? <laughs> um, yeah, you there's kind of never are. anyone. Do I feel like a celebrity? Like, when you show up at a skate park at night, which you never do. That's, yeah. No. Well, I mean, because I, it was, like, two different trains of thought. It was, like, are you going to hang out and, mm-hmm. you know, experience something together, or are you going to to, salt, to get things done yeah. and learn something? Push yourself. So it's it's just two different ways to do it. I don't really, I mean, especially, like, if I'm going to do things, you mm-hmm. don't really want people there going like, oh, man, what'd you do last night, man? <laughs> oh, fuck you, shut up. <laughs> it just, it takes time and energy, and, yeah. We were talking about music, actually. Let's talk, like, what specifically do you do to find new shit? Like, a couple websites and shit. Yeah, I have a few websites. Um, no, no Clean Singing is one of my favorite ones. They just do really good reviews and stuff, and a lot of obscure bands. Um... Slam Worldwide is for, like, Slam, which is a, a division of death metal. It's kind of slow and retarded. Yeah. It's like like weed death metal. <laughs> um, I don't really have a good resource for black metal, which is why I kind of only like older shit. That's what... So Dish if you know one, into, right? send me one. Um, yeah, Dish Prince and Black. I, like, I love black metal, too. It's just I just don't know... I don't really have anything to find new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's a lot more obscure. Like people, like there's a lot of bands that only play like older lo-fi style, and it's I don't know, it's not yeah. the '80s anymore, man. Yeah. You can record better on your on your phone. <clears throat> so like you tag these people in your. Uh, I started. I mean, there's just no reason not to. So I started tagging DM'ing. them, and then yeah, like a lot of times they'll comment back and be like, "Well, that was fucking sick." Like, or they'll repost it, and it's not it's not for attention or anything. It's just because I fucking love the bands. Yeah. Um. So a lot a lot of them now have have reached out and said like hey we're gonna be on tour this year or this month whatever um and since we live in phoenix we get all the big shows mostly at club red um have you been at the venue in mesa like club red is that club red yeah the big one yeah i guess so. yeah it's the biggest one for metal in Arizona. yeah it was yeah. it was actually right down the street from where we moved when we moved here Word. Yeah, yeah so we went with the last that was actually the last show i went to was we saw mayhem and wattain there and it was fucking sick hell yeah Speaking of moving here, like, damn, so many things. All right, so how'd you meet Heather? That's just out of... Oh, we've known each other forever. Uh, We've been friends since, I don't know, since I was in high school. 
she introduced me to a few other girlfriends <laughs> over the years. Yeah. So you've just been homies, and then yeah, and then we, yeah, 2010, I guess. Was when we, you started we got dating? together, yeah, and started dating. How'd you first um, get together? How'd you decide not to be friends and like? Uh, we, I mean, like, we'd oh, been hanging out a little bit, and then she went on a trip to to uh, Australia, and like while she was gone, I like realized that she should come back. Yeah, which was kind of interesting. Um, and called her, and like Billy was like, "I'll fucking fly you back right now." <laughs> you were wasted. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah, she came back, and um, me and Wong's wife went up and picked her up and. LA and I asked her to be my girlfriend. Hell yeah. And that was almost, that'll be 10 years ago in, in February. So pure. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. And then awesome. got married, had kids, and on to the next stage of life. Yeah. Progress. <coughs> how did you propose? I remember being at your wedding. It's all kind of a blur. But um, I had my, my friend Logan helped me out. We went on a trip to Seattle. Thanks a lot, Logan. Um, he's a photographer, and he we staged just taking some pictures and pulled a fast one on her, and I was standing behind her and had the ring in a park, and it was gorgeous. I don't remember where, exactly where we were. One, one of the one of the sounds. One the, of the sounds. The waters. The, they call them sounds. I don't. Oh, know. okay. I was like, you remember the sound? <laughs> yeah, I remember the sound. Yeah. It was a giant body of water. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then the rest is history. And then when did you guys move? Were you married? In California, and then yeah, we got married, and then we moved to Arizona. Um, Why? Cost of living? Um, yeah, cost of living for sure. Um, liberty. The, liberty. California yeah. is really bad with with freedom. It's it's forty ninth in the rankings of the states for individual freedoms, economic freedoms, everything. Libertarian? Is that what you would define yourself uh, as? If you had not, to define yourself, not strict. I'm not. I'm not super into that. I'm just. I'm. The, my biggest thing is just. You don't need to tell me what to do. Yeah. Like, I, I'm. I can handle it. Yep. So he. You know. With politics, I don't want to talk too much about politics, but. Yeah, but I want to talk about guns. Can we guns talk about aren't guns politics. A bit? You're right. <laughs> guns are the right of the people. I remember like having a conversation with you where I was pretty convinced at the time to be like. We should probably have more gun control. And then I talked to you about it for a second, and I was like, oh, uh, actually, yeah, you're right. So what's the state of gun control right now? And, like, they're, what are they trying to do after these shootings? They're pushing to ban <coughs> um, assault weapons? Yeah, so assault weapons is a made-up term. Uh, it, it, the, the media actually made that up. It's not, there. like, you don't go somewhere and buy an assault rifle. Yeah, can That's I get one of the assault guns over there? AR stands for Armalite Rifle. It's the pattern of rifle Eugene Stoner invented. Um, and an assault is an action. Yeah. You can, I can assault you with anything. Yeah. Especially if you know, it's if you're trained, spoon. I can assault you with the, the big ass knife in my pocket right now. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's why Arizona is great. Arizona is one of the freest states for firearms. You can, you have constitutional carry, you can open or concealed carry without a permit because it's not a privilege. The government doesn't say that you can do it. You, it's your right to do it or not. Hmm. So that's what I like. Yeah. I don't get nervous about guns. I've been around them my whole life. Yeah. None of my guns have ever hurt anybody. They don't just do shit on their own. Um, I have great trigger discipline. I don't accidentally shoot people. I have almost accidentally shot Wong, but that was a different story. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't buy Chinese rifles, guys. So, like, what's the move? Um, like, because I think the general feeling is, like, these mass shootings keep happening. Um, we got to do something. What do we do? Like, So, there's typically less than 400 fatalities with a mass shooting yearly. Yeah. So Which you're, is a shitty thing to hear, like yeah. the perspective of it. But like Neil deGrasse Tyson just got in a bunch of trouble for putting it in yeah. perspective. Well, and that and that that's the perspective that is important because if it, if it's about saving lives, why are you worried about one of the least killers of all? Yeah. When you're talking about general homicide, it's all handguns, mostly gang related or suicide. Yeah. Um, which is suicide is way up, and that's something everyone needs to be thinking about. I've had friends kill themselves recently. Um, that shit, that's just how it is right now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think that it's the government's job to keep you safe. They, they don't have, the police have no legal obligation to prevent a crime happening to you. They've decided this in multiple Supreme Court cases. Uh, citation needed. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I've, I've read about it before. Um, like you can't, the cops aren't going to prevent something from happening to you. They can prosecute it afterwards. So it's your responsibility. And this is like kind of call came in the mentality of get shit done. No excuses is that your well-being is entirely up to you, your health. 
I'm not a fan of doctors either. Yeah. Your health, um, your safety, of, especially of those around you, is your responsibility. And if you, the, the, the sooner you take ownership of that, uh, the better. Because waiting for someone to take care of you is never going to happen. Yeah. I think, like, at the core, it's the, uh, like, putting responsibility and power into the hands of the people rather than saying, like, all right, yeah. big government, yeah. take care of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like telling us so, what we can and can't have. So yeah, what, and how how does prohibition work? I mean, yeah, exactly. We've gotten drugs in every fucking country on earth, yeah. every state, no problem. It's yeah. illegal everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> easy to find. Yeah. I mean, that's just one good example. I don't do drugs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like prohibition doesn't work is the is the main thing. Yeah, there's around 16 million AR pattern rifles in America right now. They want to confiscate them. I mean, a mandatory buyback is confiscation because anything that's mandatory can be escalated to death. Because if yeah. you say no, then what are you going to do? Take me to jail? What if I say no? You're going to shoot me yeah. in my house? <laughs> Fuck. So anything that can be escalated to death is, you know, violates the non-aggression principle. And especially if you haven't broken the law, that violates due process. And they're taking something from you that was never theirs. They can't buy something back that was never yours. That's so heavy to think about. I hope. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's not going to happen in Arizona, so it's kind of just... Arguing against that feeling, if you have any feelings about that. Sorry. Okay, cool, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, California and Arizona have the starkest contrast in um, it, pretty much everything. That's part of the, the move. The most opposite states that touch are California and Arizona, for sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Pause. I dropped my jewel. <laughs> If you dropped it on this side, it's under there for sure. Here. Yeah, dude, I love asking you shit like that. You've uh, done your research. You know your shit. I mean, it just it, to me, it doesn't make sense <coughs> to censor adults. For things that are unsafe for kids, like yeah. including words, like you should fucking say fuck whenever you want. Yeah, it's a great way to express yourself. So what do you do about like, I don't know, you can't, you can't educate everybody, and there's gonna be dumb dumbs who are like. Yeah, I mean, I I like talking to people about it, but I mean, most people have a really deep preconceived notion about something, especially the less they know about it. Yeah, <clears throat> and a lot of people call that stupid mountain. So, when you first learn about something. You, you go balls deep on it and you, you feel like you really understand it. Yeah. And that's the top of Stupid Mountain. <laughs> uh, and then the, if, if you choose to progress, a lot most people just stay at the top of Stupid Mountain. Yeah. Um, and as you progress, you fall down Stupid Mountain and really is, you realize you don't know shit. Yeah. And that's how you really learn. <clears throat> but, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, p the media drives people to be afraid. And fear is the biggest deciding factor in most things. Yeah. If you're afraid of something, it's really easy to manipulate to do the opposite of that. Yeah. yeah. To not be afraid. But that comes with the with the discipline of like knowing that you're responsible for that for your safety, and you can't have fear if it's up to you. Yeah. You know, if you're relying on someone else to protect you, then you're afraid and you're appealing to them to help you. Yeah. And that's a, a, an appeal to authority, which is the opposite of me. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's you know that's not punk rock. That's what's up. Yeah. In there, you mentioned health is up to you, too. And yeah. What do you, like, you famously went on a meat-only diet for a long time? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm meat-based for sure. I eat mostly meat. I eat probably two pounds of lean meat a day. What got you into the, because you really did just eat steak for however long. Mm -hmm. What started that? Like, how'd you get um, about that? There's, I mean, there's a lot, it's been a thing forever, um, but it got popularized from Rogan, uh, Sean Baker was as a, uh, the leader of the carnivore movement, and it just sounded like something that was worth trying. I've tried it like a, as soon as I actually started like paying attention to what I put in my mouth, it was like oh, I, I'll just try and see what works. Like I'm not a, I'm not like doing it for ethical reasons, so I don't have any like yeah, dude. The political contrast, fight about it. the contrast from when I first met you to like not that long ago is kind of insane. Like just a garbage can human. Oh yeah, for like, sure. Which is like, that's, that's really what led me to believe that like humans can survive on anything. Yeah. Is that cause all I ate was cigarettes and, and alcohol and fucking fast food. A che yeah, yeah. A double cheeseburger from McDonald's yeah. every other day. maybe. <laughs> and I was fine. Yeah. I never got, I mean, maybe shout out to good jeans, but like never got sick. And I was fine. Could ride every day. Like, 
you know, as long as you're pumping me full of monster. Yeah, dude, you were definitely on the monsters. I love caffeine, that's for sure. You, you're one of the hangover champions. You and LaShawn both can like get clips hungover. Yeah, and it's so it sucks now. Me. It, yeah. <laughs> it's not the same anymore. Yeah, I don't. I uh, that shit baffles me. That's why I was happy to be the filmer on yeah. uh, on hangover days. So let's go into real quick. Well, anyway, last last point about oh, me yeah, yeah. is, um, dude, I totally jumped the gun on that. Yeah. No, you're good. I just you should eat for what your goals are. Um, my goal, I, when I started lifting weights and wanting to ride better at my age, I'm 33, so I want powerful muscles, powerful joints. Uh, I'm not really worried about cardio because it's I've been riding for my whole life, so it's it's still really good. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to gain muscle, and and that's why I eat a lot of meat. Um, if you don't want to gain a lot of muscle, you don't really need to eat a lot of meat. It's not like you know priority or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but with diet, like every single person is different, and you should you should eat based on who you are, um, your dietary restrictions, and then what your goals are. Yeah. Um, and then, then you'll feel the best and do the best that you can. Are you doing it like in a time period or any time restricted eating type shit? Uh, oh yeah. So I eat, uh, I do time restricted just because, um, so for like the majority of the week, sometimes like on the weekends I'll have breakfast, but, um, I usually do noon to eight. Yeah. The typical intermittent, intermittent fasting just because I feel better. And honestly, I don't have fucking time to make food three times a day. So when I eat, I eat when the kids take a nap and then I eat when the kids go to bed. Nice. That's right. Just two meals a day. Yeah. Yeah. Never hungry. It, you adapt after like yeah, five. Yeah. It's days. crazy how like it works, dude. Because I'm not. I, I could honestly yeah. skip a second meal most of the time, yeah. but you know, it's just like. But I'm trying. I'm trying yeah. to gain muscle and weight, which yeah. is why I'm not lean by any means. But cultivating mass. Bro. Yeah. What would you say your body fat percentage is right now? Twenty-five. I don't know. Yeah. You're st- you're but I mean, good. you're looking trimmer. I think, than last time. But my goal specifically with what I'm doing is to be absolutely as strong as possible. Yeah. So that doesn't mean it's lean over by any fucking means. Yeah, yeah, like, J, uh, was it J.F. Caron? Strong man had the famous quote was, uh, abs are not a sign of power. <laughs> abs are a sign you're not eating enough. Hell yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm definitely measurably stronger than when I started, so I'm right on track. Yeah, that's what's up. How long have you been going hard with it? And how often do you work out? Do you do, like, um, a rotation? That's a good question, too. Yeah, I mean, I got into it a few, like, probably three years ago, but I have, I had no idea what I was doing for at least a year. And then, I mean, no one does. No one has any idea what they're doing until you know exactly how you respond to stuff. Yeah. It's all specific, just like diet. Um, but, yeah, probably the last two years, I've been going pretty hard, I guess pretty hard. Not, like, killing myself because I still want to ride every week. Yeah. Um, so I usually taper off before Friday is my riding day right now. Um, but I work out at least five days a week. Damn. That seems like a lot, but if you're rotating muscle groups, I guess it's Yeah, and, and you just need to figure out, you'll, you, after you do it for a while, you know what hurts and what doesn't, yeah. and you know where you, where you feel an imbalance. Like, like I just pushed all day, like bench press, whatever, back, hit the back, um, you hit the, all your pull muscles. Yeah. Dude, the process of, like, both of these things, like, diet and exercise or whatever, like, just feels like it takes forever. Like, yeah, you do the does. shit, you break your muscles down, and the important part is how you, like, rest and recover. Well, and that's, yeah, that's the biggest thing is, like, I, th- you don't know how long-term that is. Like, when you decide, like, I'm going to be fucking healthy. Yeah. Like, it, it's, you need to it's think, forever. like, in, think in, like, five-year increments. Yeah. Like, where are you going to be in five years? Yeah. Don't think about a month. Like, I've been doing this for a month. I don't fucking look any different. Yeah. Like, it's going to take a long-ass time, it dude. It does. It, I felt like it. I started on February 1st. Like, yeah. I took my before picture and started going hard, and it's just, like, two months in. It felt like infinity already, and I was just like, where's my results, yeah. you know? And, but, and especially if you're trying to lose weight, you need to, you need to ramp it up as you progress. Yeah. So your calorie restrictions are going to go down. Yeah. So to lose more weight when you're when they're lower, you need to lower it. Yeah. I feel yeah. That, I and that's why fighters that right and bodybuilders, the last week before whatever they're doing, they're fucking miserable. Yeah. You need to be dehydrated. Abs are not a yeah sustainable no lifestyle, yeah. but you know for those who can do it, God bless you. God damn it! I have to get abs to beat fat ass sauce, dude. Yeah, good luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's he has to lose forty pounds before I get a visible six pack. Yeah, and that's gnarly. so much easier for him to do than for me. Yeah, I shit. think I, that ship sailed on abs for me. I'm just gonna. I just want to pick heavy shit up. I, I want to be able that. to pick up like I don't know. If I if I could ever when I can deadlift 666 pounds, I think that's I'll be fucking, pretty stoked. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't maxed out in a long time, so and it's you time work to start out at home, right? Yeah, I have some weights at home, and we have. I mean, we have a gym at our complex too, so I, I've started mixing it up. All right, man. Let's go to the IG questions a little bit. 
What up, IG? Well, start with Mama Fart. Who is his favorite person on the earth other than his kids? Oh, my wife, of <laughs> course. <laughs> and she Heather, I love you so much. Heather, we love She's you. She's the best mom, best wife you can imagine. She lets me be who I am, and I mean, if you're listening to this, you can tell it's not easy to be around me. I don't know. <laughs> And she also says, and ask him how often his wife hassles him to eat vegetables. Uh, really not that much. I mean, <laughs> uh, she wants me to eat vegetables, but... Yeah, wouldn't I, it make sense to eat vegetables, dude? Do you take uh, supplements? No. Salt. Just get it all from meat. I drink, I drink salt and lemon water in the morning right when I wake up, no matter what. So, hungover or not, drink that shit, hydrate your body, put minerals in your body. Like, it's just a, the way to start, yeah. no matter what. Always do that. Pink Himalayan salt? Yep. And Pink Himalayan salt, juice. organic lemon juice. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like vegetables, but I just, like, with the volume of meat that I'm eating for my goals right now, it's just too much filler. Too, feel too full, bloated. Mm -hmm. um, and I eat oranges after I eat meat for digestion and vitamin C and all that shit. So it's just... Any meat. pills, supplements? Are you taking, like, um, magnesium or zinc or anything? Nah, like I mean, only if I feel like I need it, but I'm, I'm pretty in tune with everything right now, and I can tell when I need something. And what are your thoughts on, like... Uh, protein powder. I do take some after workouts, um, but it's just because I eat two meals instead of three. Yeah. Um, a, a lot, of, especially like if you're a bodybuilder and you're eating, or a strong man and you're eating eight times a day, like you probably don't really need too much protein yeah. or protein powder since you're eating constantly. Yeah. But um, to have 240 grams of protein, which is where I'm at right now, per day, um, that's a, that's a lot of meat. That's yeah. a little bit more than I want to eat each day. Fuck, because you get full and tired of eating meat, like, pretty quickly. It's the highest satiety yeah. food, and that's why people who only eat meat lose weight and build muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to try that shit out, dude. It works. I mean, you definitely lose all your, like, water weight and carb bloat and gut inflammation. Like, yeah. the first week, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, everything just goes. It feels so dope to be off carbs. <clears throat> all right. Uh, at Alex Carrillo says, favorite BMX video part and favorite rider. Jesus. Current or all time? Let's go both. Favorite video all time. part. Dave Young's always been my favorite video part, classically. Um, I don't know, man. Ian Schwartz always had some of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Eddie Cleveland. I always liked all the Pegless dudes just because you don't know what they're going to do. I feel like most of the time when I'm watching something now, you can like kind of, okay, he's going to do manual 80. Yeah. All right, bar spin. Okay. Which Ian Schwartz part? Uh, up, up and away. Yeah, that's my favorite one. One of my favorite songs, that cutesy bootsy song at the end is like my favorite. One of my favorite uh, non-metal songs. Picky hopped Makba. Yep. Back when it was like actually when it was like, when it was four. Yeah. All right. So how about currently? Current favorite writers? Yeah. Uh, Besides I don't know. yourself. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, that kid Noah who rides for BSD is super fun to watch. Yeah, Huntsinger or whatever. Yeah, yeah I, he is. I'm not going to butcher your last name, dude, because you're too sick. <laughs> I did. Um, but yeah, just watching him do shit both ways is really fucking refreshing. Mm -hmm. No pegs, no no fucking pegs needed. He's got that backpedal hard 180 on. He's got all, he's yeah. got them all. He's ambidextrous. It's really fun to watch. Yeah. Um, keep it up, dude. Hell yeah. Shout out to Noah. Uh, at own underscore Joe, why the move to pegless? I think a couple people asked this. Uh, I was pegless longer than I had pegs beforehand, and then yeah. I just got tired of it. I just, I feel like I wasn't, it wasn't challenging myself. I mean, it's, which is just a personal thing is you could, you could easily challenge yourself with pegs. But yeah. I just got over it and wanted to try, I wanted to try shit harder. Something um, new. Yeah, something different. different. Yeah, and I had a bunch of things that I wanted to do that I've since done when I was pegless, like, like backpedal hard 180. Yeah. And, that like shit that's just super hard that no one's going to fucking do unless you do it. <laughs> like no one's ever going to do that shit. Yeah. Um, so it's just part of, that, part of that, <laughs> what if I try it as hard as I can type attitude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just experiment and see it all the way through, yeah. what's gonna happen. What if you just did that shit, what was that dude, was his name Derek, and he had the fucking steel solid wheels? Oh yeah, Derek, I forget his last name, the the 50 pound bike dude. Yeah. Yeah, everything I he did was fucking sick. That, that was a little, that was a little, uh, out there for me, I don't want to be gimmicky, uh, or like, I don't know. Yeah, you know, do like silly shit. Not that his was shit silly, but that's not what I'm. It's pretty to do. fucking silly to just do that. Yeah. Thing. All right. <laughs> at own underscore Joe. Again, how much meat can you bench? So, in actuality, what's your uh, max? I'm closing. I'm closing in on. I could probably do 305 right now. That's fucking fatty, dude. And I when I started a year and a half, two years ago, I I could barely do 225 once. Damn. So measurable. 225 is just 245 pound plates. Two on plates. Your side? Yeah. Yeah. I. 
failed miserably doing it, trying 225 the other day at the gym. That's... You you do get stronger. Yeah. All right. West Side Legend Clay says, "What's up, Clay? What's your favorite cut of beef? Favorite cut of beef? I mean, I eat a lot of burger just because it's easy to work with. Cooking steaks is a, is kind of opulent for my lifestyle right now, but um, can't can't ever go wrong with a fillet. Okay. I mean, fillet or ribeye. What's I don't know where the fillet is. Uh, it's the tip of." Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know the name. It's it's one of the center cuts down the back. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but I know it's the tip of that cut Hard. of that muscle. I haven't gutted a cow, just a deer. You've gutted a deer, huh? Oh shit! Look at this. Is that the one? That's the one. One and only. I've only gone once. Only shot one bullet. Only got one deer. Hell yeah. Uh, did you ever get arrested at Fort McDowell, West Side Legend? Uh, I don't think we got arrested, but the tribal police kicked us out. Okay. Uh, For what? All of our friends were hammered and knocking the fence down because the contest was about over and everyone was just partying. Yeah. 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 The tribal police definitely kicked us out. I don't think anyone got arrested though. Oh yeah. Uh, But shout out to our memory and I don't know, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) At Tammy McCarley, would you ever go back to riding sprocketless again? Nah, not now that free coasters are popular. Yeah. Because I like going fast too, but Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to, really. It wouldn't make any sense to nah. do that. It would be, like, just asking for attention type shit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, someone will do it eventually. Everything goes in a fucking cycle. It really does. By the way, hi, Tammy. Shout out to the 90s fashion that's popular right now. Another one from West Side Legend. Balancing BMX and being a double dad. He needs advice. He's got another one on the way. Congrats. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, I mean, you just got to prioritize stuff and work it out, work it out with mama. Make sure you have, you know, make sure you're getting everything done that you need to get done. Yep. But that's why I condensed my riding into just getting shit done. I'm mean, having fun is a waste of fucking time. Yeah. If you're out just lollygagging, fucking slapping your friend's ass, and that was cool, man. Yeah. Okay, like you got kids, go home. <laughs> um, yeah, go get shit done. It's like going to the gym. I mean, honestly, it's like go get that shit done, make a sick video, do it again next week. Yep. Take care of the kids in between. Uh, we covered the pegless at Titus BMX says why did he switch from four pegs to pegless huge fan of his riding so shout out Titus thanks man um yeah trying to just trying to do something different I feel like everybody's on the same path right now and someone's gotta break off and do something else a lot of people are yeah are you gonna go back to cassette anytime no I I like like that's the new different thing perfect setup for me free coaster no pegs no breaks um are you trying to work out and get strong enough to where it like ruins you being a rider you're trying to get yeah, I mean, there's probably a life cycle on how often I can do this as I get heavier. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't broken any bike parts. Shout out to Strong Ass Sabrosa bike parts. Mm-hmm. Because um, I'm 240 and I'm on the same bike I've had for about a year. I haven't changed anything, I Hell think. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I was talking to Chadwick about that the other day, too, or the last time we talked was... I think there is like a like a crux where you're going to get to where it's like, mm, you're kind of not really built for it anymore. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I'm getting I'm older anyway. I'm too Probably start a new career path sometime soon. What would you want to do? New career path. Uh, I'm gonna go to welding school. Sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna be full metal. Hell yeah! <laughs> and create metal. That's what's up. Uh, at Winem Dynam sixty nine em says, "What clip of anybody still gets you stoked and stands out to you till this day?" <laughs> Wine emoji, played emoji, sixty nine emoji. Um, damn. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of good shit going down all the time. One one thing that I always wanted to do but never went to and then saw someone do and was stoked was Nathan Williams fast planning 180 over that Albuquerque fence ditch. Oh, yeah. That was fucking awesome. And oh, I yeah. saw it and I was just like, ah, like he did it perfect. <laughs> like, no, there's no stone unturned in that one. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was sick. Perfect. Yeah. What about like in person? Because you've been around for a bunch of crazy shit. What do you think is the? Uh... Um, usually, like, any time Matt Ray does something, it's pretty <laughs> yeah. goddamn impressive because yeah. he looks so casual. Yeah. He has this weird like sloth exploding style. Mm-hmm. Uh, anytime Simone does something, it's always pretty mind bending. Yep. Because you know how much work goes into that. Yeah, Simone's a lord. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't ridden with a lot of people lately, so. No, but like, name one. One moment, one clip from one of the Sabrosa or Shadow trips or any Give Jeez. D trip or, like, biggest moment. Or not biggest, you know, but just, like, 
first thing that comes to mind. When Wong did, I think it was his banger in Goody. There was like a like a twenty foot tall turn down. Yeah, that was pretty crazy because he he just fucking did it. Hell yeah! Like, I'm just gonna fucking do it. <laughs> 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 fucking did it. <laughs> just you know screaming. What's like I've kind of seen it a little bit, but I feel like you got to see Wong when he was in in more of crazy he man was, mode. He was wild. Yeah, was I mean, his, well, not like not like, like party man stuff, like, just more no, like yeah, riding wise, like just gonna get it, like. Very super motivated. Um, he was the the guy who got everyone together. Like so he got everyone together. He fucking filmed everything. He made sure that the shit was right when you filmed him. Yeah. <laughs> and then he did the craziest shit. Yeah. So what was he like? Like right before a trick and shit. You know. Like everybody um, has their kind of like... just shark eyes, black eyes. Yeah. Like, just that's it. One track mind. Hell yeah. Uh, at hard copy BMX archive. What's a homie in Texas that like, collects BMX DVDs? Uh, what's your favorite BMX DVD? Pro shit, I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know. That I have? I mean, I only have a few. I'm not a big collector. No, just shit that you've seen. Favorite BMX DVD in general. Not uh, Deadline was pretty sick. Deadline was pretty sick. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel like it's been a while since DVDs were a big deal. Yeah. Definitely. The, there's web videos that aren't even a separate category now. Yeah. You know? It's fucking crazy, dude. I'm going to miss my time for Instagram getting a Nora Cup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the day that I'm done, someone's going to be taking it, taking the reins. So, no answer? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess Deadline's the only one I can think yeah. of where I, like, held the DVD in my hand. I was like, holy shit, here we go. And yeah. then watched it and was like, god damn. But I haven't watched a lot of DVDs lately, you know? So, I... That's a that's a that's a dated answer. Dude, nobody answer. nobody has a way to watch DVDs anymore. Oh, like, I have the way. I just yeah. don't have any DVDs, and I'm not buying it's DVDs. A, it's a straight up collector's item. Like for the next video or whatever, I'm gonna make like 50 copies, maybe. And yeah. Not sell. Well, I'll buy one of yours. Hell yeah. <laughs> At Sam Burroughs says, What's "Yeah, the, Sam, the best non-metal band or music you listen to? You have pretty solid music taste. Let's uh, Benjamin Todd. Benjamin Todd. Um, it's old timey." Like Appalachian vagabond country. Sick. Look him up. I will for some beautiful music. I think he's actually coming out with a new album soon, and that's one of the most recent albums that I that I like messaged the dude and bought it. Nice. I was like, Fuck yeah, this is awesome. Benjamin Todd. Similar to like Shaky Graves. Uh, I don't know. Okay. T O D Benjamin T O D T O D not D D. Yeah. All right, I'll remember that. <clears throat> he also asks, "What's the best part of being married?" Um, being around your best friend every day. Well, we work at home together too, so that's kind of a yeah. That's complex a lot. Answer. That's a real. That's a She's lot my to... boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys, we married, we do we do really well for work yeah for our circumstances. Yeah, those circumstances can break people for, for sure. sure. <laughs> we butt heads a lot, but it's I think that's just how you need to be. You need to be friends. Yeah, it's friends and staking your claim and yeah. working it out. That's what's up. And just committed. I feel like yeah, that's... and being committed. Yeah. yeah. If, what if I just tried my best at this? What if you just tried your fucking best? Hell yeah. He also says, "What's your, who's your favorite rider from the OG San Diego scene? From OG? I mean, and still the world champion, Gary Young. <laughs> yeah, he's Obviously. Still, you Love see you, that, Gary. Let's see that 270 whip. Of course. Of course. Gary's the, the longest running group chat member right now who I figured would bail. Because <laughs> our group chat is just like the most offensive possible jokes that you could imagine. Hell yeah. Like shit that was, the FBI is watching for sure. <laughs> Give me one example from that group chat. Oh, I mean, just that we don't have any rules and we're like the most racially diverse group you can imagine. <laughs> so it's just, it, there's no, no fucking rules. Comedy should have no fucking rules. That's true. Have you ever thought about doing stand up? I think uh, I talked to years you about this, ago, yeah. maybe like because like when I was in high school, I won like the most likely to end up at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, um, yeah. I posted that photo a while too because I, for my picture, I wore a Cannibal Corp shirt and just crossed my arms and looked super pissed. Hell yeah! So I was like, when kids see this in their parents' yearbook in thirty years, <laughs> they're gonna be like, that guy's not funny, and that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> but nah, not anymore. I always thought you could be. You were the, you were the dude like. I think it's more important to make people, people you like laugh than it is to make everybody. Yeah, laugh. Yeah, that's pretty noble. Yeah, you are, for free. You are my favorite. <laughs> you're my favorite comedian in real life. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Do do do. At Aryer. Weird name. Um, what's what up, Aryer? 
Are you? Are you? Would he? Would he ever throw on four pegs again? And why did you take them off? All right, so we covered the why. But Cover why? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, what? I figured yes. Put them back on? Yeah. I was just I, it kind of ran dude. my. It kinda, I feel like I ran it the course with it. Like I, I'm goofy footed. I grind on the inside. I feel like there isn't much other weird stuff I, that I want to do. I guess. Yeah, like I guess so. and. I mean, I'll just fucking edit my bike to be able to do it. Like, yeah. You can, I started doing shit that I didn't, never thought I'd be able to do without pegs. That's true. I'm like, where's the end of that? Dude, that's so cool that you, like, decided to learn new tricks and then did it. That's yeah. fucking... I, I feel like every... I mean, it's just a mentality thing. Because really you kind of... You get involved in the culture and you don't really... You don't have, like, a decided future that you want to yeah. achieve unless you're a fucking ultimate achiever. I'm sure there's some of those out there. Yeah. Like, especially with park dudes. But, like, just having, like, an idea of what you want to be. Mm-hmm. Most people don't have that. Yeah. You close? I don't what know. you want to be? I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know thing. if I'll it's ever a, figure it out. It's a process. Right? Yeah, it's, well, it's just enjoy the ride. Yeah. You know, you're never going to get there. I don't think anyone who works out is like, no, I'm done. Yeah. Like, no, you're just going to keep doing it forever. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's, it took me a while to figure that part out. Yeah, it's, I, now I, I it's just something done. that you do forever. Yeah. yeah. It's fucked. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got at Jacob Price 22 wildest moment on any trip you've been on? <laughs> uh... We've had some moments. You've like had some party moments. stuff? Uh, or crazy, like fights or... I'll say, yeah, like, just a uh, non-BMX. Uh, well, you know what, like, I guess, like, kind of a little bit of everything was when we had the uh, Albuquerque jam. Yeah. We were there. Um, wild jam, tons of people. Sun goes down, beers come out, bottles go flying, shit getting crazy, people fighting, girls crying. <laughs> like, just like a wild, feral third world country <laughs> I love Albuquerque that park is fucking sick everyone there is awesome and fucking crazy Los Altos is that yeah. what yeah that's what I, I, don't, I don't remember the whatever. name but that was a good one alright that was pretty good we were, yeah we were just throwing bottles like, over the fence into the whatever like the city building just breaking shit or whatever that little hut was I seriously shattering don't remember you don't remember all. shattering yeah. bottles all over the fucking place <laughs> I don't remember well we were fucked up um, that was wild yeah fuck I guess get wild counts. consume intoxicants yeah would you recommend that? Yes. Everybody alter alter your perception. As, as a fucking adult, though. Yeah. Don't do it as a kid. I didn't do shit until I was 21. I didn't drink until I was 21. Nice. Because I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> <laughs> responsible party. No, because I was a fucking nerd. It was interesting. Like, you always carried the vibe of, like, being responsible and in control even when you were, like, out of your mind fucked up. I remember. Yeah. Like, it's. It was comforting to get fucked up around you because it felt. Yeah, it felt, yeah I guess it I've, I've right. kind of always been the protector. Yeah. Uh, bring your frame back in Chrome at Joel Minute. Uh, sorry, Joel. I wanted to do Chrome forever. It would have been like 500 bucks for you to buy it because it, <laughs> they would have been super in depth to do the two top tubes, and I got shut down every time. But I always wanted a Chrome one. Maybe one day I'll take one and Chrome it myself. Yeah, the, they're not selling the DTT anymore, are they? Nah. Yeah. It's been out for a while. I don't have anything signature anymore. I'm old man. Oh. Mer. Oh, man. At, Everything runs its course. At Ditch Matt, tell us about the time Lufa beat you at arm wrestling. <laughs> Did he really? Uh, I mean, do we talk about our charitable donations? On? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Lufa beat me at arm wrestling. He's a champion. He's a cartoon character. I love Lufa. He's fucking, yeah, yeah he's yeah. a cartoon character. He's awesome. Uh, we talked about how you balance being a dad in BMX. Shout out to Mario FBK. <laughs> Ditch Hell yeah, Matt. Mario's dope. Ditch Matt says, favorite parts about AZ? Freedom. Um, mm -hmm. I don't mind the heat. So I don't give a shit about dry heat. I do everything the same. Yeah. So, like, the one day it was 120, we took Crimson out when she was, like, four months old and did everything the same shit. Yeah. You know? My kids are native Arizonans, so I think that grandfathers me in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't do good with humidity, so I think I thrive here. Yeah. Dude, humidity sucks, man. I, I didn't know yeah. the difference until I moved to Florida. Oh, and now you can like, carry oh nunchucks, which I think is really important. Here? Yeah. Yeah, I they think They just passed so. it last month. I think that's important You can carry well. nunchucks. <laughs> because fuck you, that's why. That's why. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't have any fucking nunchucks, <laughs> but what if I want to get some? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, dude, this, is a, this was... This made me laugh because I was like, it already exists. At KZ0324 says, can we have a how-to-do fast plant with Kyle Hart, please? Yeah, we already made it. Go like, watch it. Sweet <laughs> it's very in-depth. Rodeo. I got rodeo peanutted before it because it's so fucking basic <laughs> yeah. in the explanation. 
But if you do all the things I fucking say, yeah, you'll probably do it. it right, and you'll probably do it higher than you could before. That was a fun video to make. I feel like we were on yeah. the East Coast somewhere. Yeah, we were in Massachusetts. Jarrett says, I love you, bitch. <clears throat> love you too, bitch. You're a bitch. And then we'll end it on this one. Well, not the whole podcast, but uh, at Ditch Matt, best Albert Mercado story. Talk about Albert. <laughs> Albert's probably my best, longest friend. I think we met when we were like 13. Um, we couldn't be any more different, mm-hmm. I don't think, other than our uh, Hispanic heritage and bike riding. <laughs> but every single other thing about us is different. But yeah, we get along and we talk shit to each other all day, every day yep. in a group text. Um, and I'm sure this is very annoying for everyone else involved. Um, I don't really, I mean, I don't want to out Albert. Albert's the nice guy on any crazy shit, but we've done some crazy shit together. But some, some wild stories do exist. Oh, uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll let you, Albert tell you those if you want to, Yeah, if he wants to do that. Mm-hmm. I respect Albert, so I don't out him for shit. That's Fuck you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think people know that you're Hispanic. So, I, yeah, we actually did my 23 and Me, and I'm, I'm everything. I'm a fucking I'm rainbow. Everything. I'm literally, like, Asian, African, European, Native, Hispanic, everything. And you came out white. Uh, I'm real tan. Not in the summer because you're not in the sun as much. It's weird. That's one th- interesting thing about mm-hmm. Arizona is you're more tan in the winter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little bit of everything. Uh, I am. I obviously am part white, yeah. <laughs> which is where I get my tallness and baldness from. Hell yeah. Shit, man. <clears throat> what do you want to talk about? I, think. I don't think that's good for me. Yeah. I, that's gonna, my whole life, you, baby. What are you going to do today? Go back to work, take the kids out, go to Costco, buy uh, 18 pounds of meat. Yep. Eat it. Cook it up. <laughs> Cook it. it up. Hell yeah. Uh, you gonna get a dream. clip? You gonna get a clip for this next DVD? Uh, I would like to, but planning is very difficult, as All you right. know. I will make it happen. We'll come out early on a Friday morning before you get a skate park. Yeah, we'll have to figure something out. I mean, Dude, we yeah, can do know. it at that uh, Camelback plaza the 24-hour park and then we'll get a or or somewhere where i could film a whole video on my own also like if we went downtown or something yeah like friday morning downtown would be dope that would be dope just spend a few hours find something hammerish sick sick guy yeah i can't i'm brain dead right now i need to eat yeah you can't think of anything else i still got a few hours (sighs) all right man go out there and be yourself kids don't listen to anybody Thanks for checking out Canode Nose with Kyle Hart, dude. All right. Good. That's it. Good. Dope. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for doing this. I'm going to get to work. <laughs>